Greetings, human sands and namics. I would like to welcome you back to Crawford Farms Entertainment. Today we ask the question, what if the sand Kakarot landed in Kansas and was raised by Jonathan and Martha Kent? What if Goku was Superman? Dragon Ball Super Broly's revisioning of Goku's origin draws striking similarities to that of the Man of Steel. Goku's planet was on the brink of destruction and his parents made the painful decision to send him to Earth in an escape pod. Both Kal-El, who would become Superman, and Kakarot, who becomes known as Goku, would have certainly died if not for their parents' sacrifice. Both arrived on Earth with powers far beyond that of Earth's native population. Let's take a look at how it would play out if Goku had landed in Smallville. In a distant galaxy, a child named Kakarot was born to proud parents, Bardock and Jene. This planet was full of powerful warriors. However, this child was somewhat unremarkable. Born to fairly regular parents, few would have guessed that this child possessed incredible latent power and harbored the potential to become a legendary warrior. Planet Vegeta faced imminent destruction. Bardock knew that the villainous Frieza had plans to destroy the planet. The villain lived in constant fear of what he believed to be the only being in the universe who could defeat him, the legendary Super Saiyan. He believed the only way to prevent this prophecy from coming to pass was to eradicate the entire race. Fearing for their son's safety, Bardock and Jene made the heart-wrenching decision to send Kakarot away, hoping that he would find a better future elsewhere. As the couple launched their child off into the unknown, Bardock's fears manifested as Frieza destroyed the entire planet with but a motion of his finger. Kakarot's pod escaped just in time. And so Kakarot was sent off in a small space pod, hurtling through the vastness of space until he crash landed on a quiet farm in Smallville. On a quiet and serene night in Smallville, Jonathan and Martha Kent were startled by an extraordinary event. A small spaceship descended from the sky and crash landed near their farm. Intrigued, they rushed to the scene only to discover a boy laying in the debris inside of a large crater. Amazingly, the boy had no injuries except for what appeared to be a pretty bad abrasion on his tailbone. They saw what appeared to be a severed monkey tail in the debris but never made the connection between it and the boy. It was a moment that will forever alter their lives. Jonathan and Martha, unable to have children of their own, saw this as a sign from heaven. They adopted the young Kakarot and named him Goku after Martha's great uncle, giving him a loving and nurturing home. Unbeknownst to the Kents, this child had incredible powers far beyond those of any typical human. As Goku grew, so did his amazing abilities. His strength, speed, and extraordinary powers emerged, raising questions that deeply concerned Jonathan and Martha. Fearing that revealing Goku's true nature might bring danger upon their adopted son, they decided to keep his powers hidden from the world. Jonathan and Martha became highly resourceful in their efforts to conceal Goku's enhanced strength. They encouraged him to be cautious, focusing on finding balance and controlling his powers. They emphasized the importance of humility, teaching him that his abilities were not meant to be used for personal gain or superiority. He was not allowed to participate in sports, he was only permitted to pursue academic endeavors, eventually working on the school's newspaper and joining the debate team. This is a dramatic difference between the Goku of this universe and that of the one from the seventh. It is possible that Goku's head injury as a young child in the seventh universe contributed to his limited intellectual capabilities, but this Goku had no such limitations. His intellect and interest in science led him to meeting an upperclassman in high school, Boma Brief Luthor. She was a brilliant young student, scientist, and inventor. Goku and Boma grew very close, so close that she was one of the few people he told of his abilities. Boma would go on to help him design his suit and training rooms with increased gravity to help him train and improve his abilities. To the outside world, Goku's upbringing appeared just like any ordinary child. The Kents nurtured his dreams, supported his ambitions, and cherished every moment they had together as their family grew stronger. They instilled in him their own moral compass, teaching him the values of compassion, justice, and the importance of preserving life. At times, Goku's abilities did pose challenges for the Kents. Tasks that might seem innocent for a child became daunting undertakings due to his enhanced strength. The family worked diligently to find creative solutions, relying on teamwork and ingenuity to overcome these obstacles while safely guarding Goku's secrets. Despite the immense responsibility of raising a child, especially one with unparalleled powers, the Kents never wavered in their commitment. 
They provided a haven of love, acceptance, and normalcy for Goku, ensuring he felt the warmth of a true family. However, as Goku matured, he began to question his identity and origins. The Kents, prepared for this inevitable moment, chose to reveal the truth to their beloved son. With open hearts and tearful eyes, they shared the tale of his arrival, their discovery, and the wondrous powers he possessed. Goku's super strength and speed amazed both Goku and his adopted parents. With their guidance, he learned to control his abilities and use them for the greater good. The Kent family recognized the need for him to gain even greater control over his unrivaled power. Determined to guide him, they enrolled him in martial arts training, seeking the help of Roshi's MMA Academy on the outskirts of Smallville. Roshi and Goku also formed a special bond with each other, and Goku eventually told his teacher about his abilities and extraterrestrial origins. To Goku's surprise, the martial arts master was not surprised and explained to Goku that he had encountered many extraterrestrials throughout his 300-year lifespan. Roshi had heard of a race of warriors called Saiyans and believed that Goku may be one. Under Roshi's tutelage, Goku learned to master his key, honing his focus and unleashing the potential residing in him. The intense training regiment molded him not only into a skilled fighter, but also a disciplined warrior. Through countless hours of practice and dedication, Goku acquired the foundational skills necessary to walk amongst humans without raising suspicion, and even learned to fire Master Roshi's signature key blast, the Kamehameha. Additionally, he learned how to focus his key to augment all of his abilities, even changing the color of his hair. Goku understood the incredible sacrifices his parents made to protect him and keep his abilities hidden. Filled with gratitude and a desire to make them proud, he dedicated himself to using his powers for the greater good, protecting the innocent, upholding the values instilled in him by the Kents. The story of Jonathan and Martha Kent raising Goku, nurturing him as their own, sheltering his secret abilities, is a testament to the boundless power of love and sacrifice. Together they embarked on an extraordinary journey, shaping young Goku into the hero he will become. While still cherishing the simple joys of a loving family, Jonathan and Martha emphasize the importance of humility, kindness, and justice to their superpowered son. They taught Goku the values of hard work and compassion, instilling in him a deep sense of responsibility to protect those in need. As Goku grew older, he realized he had a calling beyond the quiet life of Smallville. He left his childhood home to use his powers to safeguard humanity from any threat that may arise. Becoming a hero, the Kents instilled a focus on education in Goku, and even at a young age, he was advanced in his academic endeavors. After graduating from college, he decided a career as a reporter might get him closer to individuals who might need help. Rumors swirled around the world of a mysterious caped angel who saved people in the most impossible situations. They had started calling the mysterious hero Superman. Under the pseudonym Goku Kent, he blended seamlessly into the bustling city of Metropolis as a mild-mannered reporter working for the Daily Planet. With his dual identity, he dedicated his life to fighting for truth, justice, and the American way. Despite being an alien from far away, the values instilled in Goku by his adopted parents, Jonathan and Martha Kent, remain the guiding force behind his actions as Superman. Their love and support forged him into a symbol of hope for all, embodying the very best of humanity. And so this is the extraordinary tale of Goku's transformation into Earth's greatest hero, Superman champion who draws strength not only from his extraordinary powers, but also from the love and values instilled in him by his adopted parents. The suit he wore was designed by his friend Boma, and the S placed on his chest was meant to represent his Saiyan heritage. In the bustling city of Metropolis, a pair found themselves working side by side. Goku Kent, the alien who had been raised by the Kent family, was now working at the Daily Planet. Unknown to the world, he was also the superhero, Superman. For months now, Goku Kent and Lois Lane, who everybody called Chi Chi, have forged a strong working relationship. They had shared countless stories and saved each other's lives on multiple occasions, or at least Chi Chi thought she had saved his life. But as their bond grew, Chi Chi couldn't help but notice one thing that was unusual about Goku. He often disappeared without any explanation or made a rather lame excuse. Growing up on a farm, Goku learned a lot from the virtuous Kents but they never taught him to lie, so he was terrible at it. He was able to disguise himself with his suit 
and he had the ability to distort his features using his key, but he could never make a convincing excuse for why he suddenly disappeared. Curiosity gnawed at Chi Chi, fueling her suspicions. She had feelings for Goku, but felt conflicted. She wondered why he vanished without a word. Where does he go? One fateful day, the Daily Planet building shook violently as General Zod, an insane Kryptonian supervillain, attacked Metropolis. Goku knew he had to act swiftly, but couldn't reveal his true identity just yet. Sneaking away unnoticed, he put on his suit with the S on his chest, ready to protect those in need. Underneath his newfound identity, Goku flew into action, engaging General Zod in a thrilling battle across the city skyline. The sky cracked with electricity as Goku faced off against General Zod, the Kryptonian warlord with immense power. The air around them grew thick with tension, each one radiating power beyond comprehension. As the battle commenced, Goku darted through the air, his body moving with incredible speed and precision. Zod matched his every maneuver, showcasing his own otherworldly skills. With lightning fast strikes, Goku landed blows upon his opponent. Using a combination of martial arts and superhuman strength, Zod's eyes blazed with fury as he retaliated with a barrage of punches, each one seemingly capable of shattering mountains. Goku's body absorbed the impacts, his martial arts training allowing him to efficiently defend against the onslaught. In a swift display of agility, he spun around, landing a powerful kick that sent Zod crashing into the ground below. But Zod possessed the resilience of a Kryptonian and rose to his feet. With a scream, he unleashed his heat vision, streaking beams of searing heat towards Goku. Reacting with lightning speed and reflexes, Goku evaded the beams, gracefully shifting through the air to avoid the destructive path. Unleashing a battle cry, Goku soared back towards Zai, gathering his inner energy. Golden light emanated from his body as he prepared to unleash his most devastating attack, the Kamehameha. With a resounding shout, Goku extended his hands, releasing an energy blast that surged towards Zai. Caught off guard, Zai attempted to shield himself, but the sheer force and intensity of the Kamehameha overpowered him. The blast tore through Zai's defenses, disintegrating him. In an awe-inspiring display of power, the battlefield trembled as Goku's victory became evident. Goku's strength and determination fueled by the love he held for the people of Earth allowed him to overcome the challenge. As he realized that his blast had killed Zod, he felt a deep sense of regret and wept bitterly. As Goku returned to the Daily Planet after his victorious encounter, Chi-Chi was waiting with a mix of concern and determination in her eyes. She was careful in speaking with him because he still was visibly upset about the encounter. However, she had her suspicions about his true identity and couldn't help but probe, her voice laden with questions. Tell me, Goku, where did you disappear to a moment ago? And how did you manage to defeat Zod? It was hard, Goku caught himself before continuing. He realized that he may have inadvertently admitted to being Superman. Goku stood before her, struggling with the decision. Was she joking or did she figure out his identity? He knew he had to trust Chi Chi with a secret, for the bond they had formed deserved the truth. Taking a deep breath, he revealed his alien origins and the extraordinary abilities he possessed. Goku recounted the story of his upbringing, the guidance he had received from the Kents, and the responsibility he felt to use his powers for good. Chi Chi listened intently her suspicions slowly transforming into understanding. While his revelation surprised her, deep down she knew Goku's heart was pure and his intentions were noble. The connection between them grew even stronger as she saw the sacrifices he made to protect Metropolis and its people. From that day forward, Chi Chi became Goku's confidant, partner, and eventually his biggest advocate. Together, they championed truth, justice, and the common good as word of Goku's power spread throughout the world and eventually throughout the universe, stories of his exploits eventually made their way to the dreaded Lord Frieza. One of his soldiers ran into his quarters frantically. L -l -l Lord Frieza, there are rumors of a being who is as strong as you. First of all, how dare you storm in without properly announcing yourself? Secondly, that's impossible, replied Frieza. My Lord, a being on planet Earth easily defeated the Kryptonian. I apologize for the soldier was unable to finish his sentence. Frieza disintegrated him with a blast from his fingertip. Frieza thought to himself, what manner of creature could defeat a Kryptonian with ease? Zarbon set a course for Earth. I believe I may have missed one of those monkeys when I blew up planet Vegeta. 